Today I'm going to be converting my machine from BIOS to EFI and from master boot record to a GPT. First step is to open disk management and verify that the disk is master boot record indeed. So you go to volumes and uh, the, it says master boot record. So let's close all that and we will uh, open uh, preferences or settings and type recover recovery we choose recovery option and choose restart now and we're doing this because we want to go to command prompt and recovery console select advanced options here command prompt and here we will type this command that you are seeing on the screen it's mbr to gpt space forward slash validate that will validate uh, the disk and then we're going to repeat the command but with convert and what this will do is it will convert the disk to uh, G GPT of uh, table now once we turn it off you'll see it's not going to power on because we have to change the EFI to add the, uh, from BIOS to EFI what we need to do is we, we need to right click on the VMX file inside the virtual machine and uh, edit that file with uh, text edit well the problem is so is mine was mine was encrypted so I had to unencrypt it first then go back and right click again and choose open with text edit which will enable me now to edit the file because before it was encrypted and now we add this command the the two lines the firmware equals EFI and the UEFI command now if that's all done properly it will uh, power on remember to use the proper symbols uh, where it says true in the command and now you can see uh, this is uh, GUID well when we test with uh, PC health check we'll see that Windows is still not 100% compliant uh, we'll see the yeah, TPM must be enabled the way you do it the way you do this is you need to power off again the machine you need to encrypt the disk in order to add the trusted uh, module the trusted platform module so yeah we'll, I will encrypt my uh, drive I'm fast forwarding here as you can see uh, and after that virtual machine will allow us to add the TMP now that it's encrypted I can go I can click OK go to add devices and choose the trusted platform module once it's added that's all you need to do in uh, VMware fusion settings once we start the virtual machine and go inside Windows, we can check now and everything is uh, everything is meeting the requirements of Windows 11. That's all. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you like it, please uh, click like, subscribe, or if you have any comments, put them below and I'll answer as fast as I can.